We're continuing our series on how to restore a four-track reel-to-reel -reel tape machine. All right, we've got this tape strung up now because we wanted to show you now how that actually the calibration goes. Like I was saying before, you do calibrate with chip heads one and three, and then or one and four, and then one and three, and then two and four. You do it in stereo sequence and it was calibrated in that manner. So that's a very important piece. Consequently, the tapes do not last long. This one is, uh, you know, 25 years old and it's not going to be in calibration anymore. I can't even find those anymore. So if anybody knows, and I'd appreciate an email from somebody who knows where you can actually pick up these uh, reference tapes anymore. Basically what it does is it adjusts. It's going to be adjusting these, these tracks here. These are the front tracks here, the front tracks one and three. And then we'll go back and we'll adjust tracks two and four. So the volumes at the same level exactly measured with my meters and the tape will play. Let's go through that, show that how that works. And it just goes through and plays. So off we go here. We'll see the head movement when the tape is actually coming across. As you can see, it's at 10 dB perhaps at this point. And that's what you adjust with your uh, fine uh, tuners on the heads themselves. Because you want to make sure the zenith and the azimuth are set properly. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go ahead and start the process of playing this reel to reel up here and then using one of these plastic devices to actually adjust the head. We're going to first adjust this head here. And that's what we'll do is we'll adjust that. So let's go ahead and kick the tape in. And we're watching that on the meters. And then we're going to set that one side here. And what we'll do is we'll watch down in the We'll pan down a little bit here. We'll watch down on the meters to actually adjust that. So we'll make sure that this is in good shape as we turn it, okay? And you can might see it adjust a little bit, probably not. Then after we do that, then we're going to go up here and put it into the next hole and adjust the other side. So we're adjusting that as we watch. So we're doing kind of two things at once. We're doing a quick little small adjustment at a prearranged height and then take a look down here to see what the meters are doing so that we're doing the right thing. That's typically how we adjust and we turn them just a little bit at a time each time that we adjust them and then we go to the next head and do the same process on the next tape head which in this case would be the record head. Now that we've adjusted tracks one and three for optimum We'll probably roll the tape back. We'll, we'll roll the tape back a little bit. Play the same section of the tape yet again. 